Hi and welcome to my Mystery Rahash YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain a brief history of dinosaurs and where did they come from. Watch out and take care. Dinosaurs are one of the most successful groups of creatures to have floated the Earth. For over 170 million ages they dominated the land, from small beasts just to feats long to some of the largest creatures ever to have walked on Earth. But despite their long evolutionary history, the origin of dinosaurs remains covered in secret. When did dinosaurs evolve, and what did the first bones look like? The first definitive dinosaur isn't one beast but an entire ecosystem containing the many different species. There is no widely accepted dinosaur species that lived previously in time. Dating to around 230 million ages ago, in the late Triassic period, the Ischigulasto format in Argentina contains an array of beast remains. It shows that the climate was dominated by early reptiles known as rinchosaurs, as well as creatures nearly related to mammalian origins called cynodons. Crucially, still, it reveals that there were also a number of different early dinosaur species in the mix. These include small bipedal beasts, such as the Adromius and Aeraptor, and larger beasts, similar, as Herosaurus. Prof. Paul Barrett is a dinosaur investigator at the museum who has been looking into the early progress of dinosaurs during the late Triassic and early Jurassic. There are a bunch of places in Argentina and Brazil that are battling for the crown of the motherland of the four most definite dinosaurs, says Paul. But when they first showed, they were already recognizably dinosaurs. This suggests that dinosaurs had to have a longer evolutionary history that we do not yet know about. And there's some debate as to how important of that evolutionary history is currently missing. Now, let's look at the history of the dinosaurs. The Stone Age reptiles known as dinosaurs rolled out during the middle to late Triassic period of the Mesozoic time, some 230 million ages ago. They were members of a class of reptiles called the Archosaurs, ruling reptiles, a group that also includes birds and crocodiles. Scientists first began studying dinosaurs during the 1820s, when they discovered the bones of a large land reptile they dubbed a Megalosaurus, a big lizard buried in the English country. In 1842, Sir Richard Owen, Britain's leading paleontologist, first chased the term dinosaur. Owen had examined bones from three different beasts, Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, Iguanatooth, and Hylosaurus, forestland lizard. Each of them lived on land, was larger than any living reptile, walked with their legs directly beneath their bodies rather out to the sides, and had three further chines in their hips than other given reptiles. Using this information, Owen determined that the three formed a special group of reptiles, which he named Dinosauria. The word comes from the ancient Greek word Danos, terrible and soros, lizard or reptile. Since also, dinosaur fuds have been set up each over the world and studied by paleontologists to find out further about the numerous different types of these beasts that lived. Scientists have traditionally divided the dinosaur group into two orders the bird clued Ornithischia and the lizard clued Cerischia. Tyrannosaurus or Triceratops and each rubric into one or further species. Some dinosaurs were bipedal, which means they walked on two legs. Some walked on four legs, quadrupedal, and some were suitable to switch between these two walking styles. Some dinosaurs were covered with a type of body armor, and some presumably had feathers, like their ultramodern raspberry cousins. Some moved snappily, while others were lumbering and slow. Utmost dinosaurs were beasties, or factory eaters, but some were carnivorous and hunted or scavenged other dinosaurs in order to survive. At the time the dinosaurs arose, all of the Earth's mainlands were connected together in one landmass, now known as Pangaea, and girdled by one enormous ocean. Pangaea began to break piecemeal into separate mainlands during the early Jurassic period, around 200 million times ago, and dinosaurs would have seen great changes in the world in which they lived over the course of their reality. Dinosaurs mysteriously dissolved at the end of the Cretaceous period, 
around 65 million times at Nagon. Numerous other types of creatures, as well as numerous species of shafts, died out around the same time, and multitudinous battling hypotheses live as to what caused this mass extermination. In addition to the great stormy or monumental exertion that was being around that time, scientists have also discovered that a giant asteroid hit Earth about 65.5 million times ago, landing with the force of 180 trillion tons of TNT and spreading an enormous quantum of ash each over the Earth's face. Deprived of water and sun, shops and algae would have failed, killing off the Earth's beasties. After a period of surviving on the cadavers of these beasties, herbivores would have failed out as well. Despite the fact that dinosaurs no longer walked the Earth as they did during the Mesozoic period, unmistakable traces of these enormous reptiles can be linked in their ultra-modern day descendants' catcalls. Dinosaurs also live on in the study of paleontology, and new information about them is constantly being uncovered. Eventually, judging from their frequent appearances in the pictures and on TV, dinosaurs have a firm hold in the popular imagination, one realm in which they show no peril of getting defunct.